What's up everyone? I am coming at you today with an Abercrombie haul and a Princess Polly haul, a small Princess Polly haul. As you guys know, I have ventured into, we have a guest. We have a guest here. As you guys know, I dipped my toe into the Abercrombie world a few months ago. I did this haul and then I did this haul and I have just been a huge, huge fan of Abercrombie ever since then. I have ordered like, I'm not kidding, 10 pairs of their jeans. Recently, I placed a big order and I wanna show you guys. Of course, I will do my best to link everything, but I will also go through their new in stuff and pick out my favorite things. I don't know if that would be helpful for you guys, but sometimes by the time I get things in, they're already gone off the website, which is really annoying. I'm just gonna pray that you cannot hear the lawnmower that just decided to start outside my door. Okay, so I wanna start with two pairs of pants that I picked up that were supposed to be kind of like a dupe for the Melina pants from Aritzia, which are like the famous leather pants that everyone has bought. These are the 90s straight ultra high rise jean leather pants. I think this is the first time I'm ever really gonna say anything like that negative about Abercrombie because I truly think that all of their clothes, like the quality is amazing, they're worth the price tag. But when I've tried out now three pairs of their leather pants because I just, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe that they wouldn't you know, have anything less than perfect. But these are just not super flattering. They're not really a thick faux leather, whereas the Molina pants are like a little bit thicker. It really holds you in nice and smooths you out. These pants kind of just like accentuate everything you don't want to be accentuated. I'll show you guys on. I think they're still almost $100 and the Molina pants are, I believe like $120. Really? Okay, I was a little off here. The Molina pants are actually around $150 Canadian, which is crazy expensive. But if you can save a little bit and buy them, I would recommend it because the quality is so much better. I just want to say that Zara, Dynamite, all those stores have amazing dupes. I would just pass on the Abercrombie ones. They don't look terrible. Like I wouldn't be embarrassed wearing them out. They're just like a little scrunchy and like cheap feeling, cheap looking. But because they're still pretty expensive, it's just not worth it. Then I saw they also had the ankle straight high rise jeans and they just are both not very flattering. Okay, so these are definitely a little bit more cropped. They're a little bit more straight leg. I'm gonna show you guys the Molina pants on after this because these are fine. Like I'm sure if you saw them, you'd be like, yeah, they're great, but they just like look cheap and they feel cheap the material is very thin you know doesn't do much for my butt i don't really have a butt so i'm basically asking for a miracle okay and here are the melina pants from aritzia so i have lost a few pounds so they are a little bit looser on me than i would have liked but they're like a, still a good fit you can see it's just like more flattering it doesn't bunch up it's not cheap looking the material feels really nice so that's what I was kind of expecting and that's not what I got. The next thing I picked up is a little bit hard to show you like this, but it is a small little black dress that has this like turtleneck, you know these like little arm sweater things that were really popular last year? They're attached, like they come together. You can detach them, so if you wanted to, you can literally just wear this dress or you can wear this over something else. They also had it in like a cream color. I like Abercrombie dresses because they're, they're really thick. They hold you in very nicely. Okay, I think this dress is one of my favorite things from the entire haul. This this dress fits so nicely and it's so comfortable and so flattering. It goes to a really nice length and it's a really cute knit dress. So if you wanted to layer this like under a blazer, wow, I'm honestly shocked. I know their dresses are good, but I think this is, might be my favorite one that I've ever purchased. Wanted to show you guys the dress on with some heels. So these are my Stuart Weisman heels I wear literally with everything, but it just is such a pretty dress. Such a pretty flattering dress. The next thing I picked up are another pair of jeans because I wanted to test out the full length version of the jeans. Normally I wear the short length and they're perfect on me, but sometimes you just want like a longer pair of jeans. So I ordered the 90s straight high rise. The length is good. The issue I have with this pair in particular is that the holes are so low on the pants. It looks like they just don't fit right. If you're gonna buy one thing from the haul and you haven't tried the 90s straight jeans, I would definitely recommend it. But if you are five foot one like me, definitely get the short version or get some without rips. It's just the placement of the holes is a little bizarre. Okay, so these are the jeans. Is it just me or do the holes look like 
It looks like my thigh is like this long and then my calf is like this long I don't know if it's like just because they're made for taller people or if the holes are supposed to be on my Shin, I don't know um, But the fit is really nice like I love a good oversized jean I feel like if the holes were not there They'd be like my new favorite jeans am I exaggerating or does it look a little off the next thing I got from Abercrombie is this little bodysuit right here, which is also in a knit material It looks very mini, but it's very very stretchy and I just loved the cut of it It has a really pretty neckline and then it goes in at the waist So it's gonna accentuate the smallest part of your waist. This is a bodysuit you can see the cut of it is so nice, so flattering. I have a paired with sweatpants, but it would look adorable with jeans also. I also got this top, which I completely forgot to put in the haul. It is not a bodysuit, it's just a top. And it fits really nicely, it's super comfortable, and I believe they have it in a few colors. The next thing I picked up is some loungewear. Abercrombie has the most comfortable sweaters, loungewear. Their stuff is amazing. A little bit pricier for loungewear, but the quality is amazing. So I picked up this sweater. It says Le Jardin Hotel Spa Paris. I just have been loving like a good green and cream combination. So I did pick this up in a size medium because I like it a little bit oversized. They have a few different other sayings on sweaters, but this one I just thought was really pretty. And like I said, I've been loving green. So here here I have the sweater just tucked in to a pair of jeans, which is how I probably am gonna wear it the most, or tucked into a pair of sweatpants. These are still the same jeans. I have them now with a pair of sneakers. It's super nice and the quality is amazing and it's very cozy, but it's not too thick where you can't tuck it into your jeans or anything because oftentimes like if a sweater is too big and bulky, it's hard to tuck it in. I think it would also look really cute in like a skirt. I actually didn't plan this well because one of my favorite sets, of course I did this, one of my favorite sets that I got is actually currently soaking wet in the washing machine. It is this set right here. I showed it on Instagram here and as soon as I put it on, I knew that it was going to be a favorite in my collection. I've been really into wide leg sweatpants as of recently. This is the charcoal color. I got them in a size small short. This is exactly what the other pair looks like, but it's in a light gray. They're just so comfortable. Like I will sleep in them. I will wear them all day long. The material is like a nice thick soft material. This style of sweatpants beats out any style from Abercrombie I've ever tried in the past. For my gray set, I got this sweater. It is like a crew neck. But for this set, I picked up one with a hood. You guys know me and my matching loungewear sets. Even when you're super comfortable, they make you look very cute, so you can't go wrong. Here is a little sweat outfit in the charcoal color. I'm absolutely in love with it. I literally look like a whole dad with my dad running shoes and my dad little, you know, outfit. <laughs> Honestly, like I would wear this every single day if I could. I feel like I'm in pajamas and I still feel like it's pretty cute, especially if you accessorize with some jewelry. But the wide leg sweatpants are a game changer. They're so comfy. The next thing I picked up is this little tennis skirt. So tennis skirts are super in right now. It is white. I did not plan that well. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be wearing a white skirt anytime soon, but whenever I see someone wearing a tennis skirt, I just think it's adorable. Like a, like a tennis skirt in a very sporty, edgy way, maybe with like a little vest, a baseball hat, some sneakers, some chunky sneakers, and some socks, or obviously you can dress the skirt up a little bit. This is the first way I'm styling this. This is actually a skirt. I didn't know that, but it is um, a skirt. Beautiful. This top is like a little knit sweater that I got from Aritzia, I wanna say like two years ago now. You guys know I love pairing white and black together. And then I threw it on to spice it up a little bit with my platform Doc Martin boots. But of course, if you don't like chunky boots like this, you can switch it up and wear sneakers or regular boots, combat boots. It would even look really cute with boots like this. Just like a little bit edgy. Throw on this cardigan, which I think is really cute. It's from Misguided. And then I just threw on some white sneakers to go with it. Obviously the skirt's not very fall. I just wanted my collection. The next thing I picked up is this cardigan, which seems like it might be a little bit too big. I probably should have gotten an extra small. It has these little, what are these called? Like a bra, <laughs> bra closures on the back? I don't know. I love a good cardigan top in the fall and winter time. Okay, so this top reminds me a lot of a top that I always wear and always get questions about. I wore it in my jacket video and I really love this detail here. It takes like a regular old cardigan and makes it a little bit sexy, a little bit different. 
if you will. Um, and then these, I wanted to show you guys the regular 90s jeans so you guys know I'm not lying because I actually really love them and they're some of my favorite jeans and they just look really good. So these are the short version. You can see they go to the perfect length, whether I'm wearing heels or not wearing heels. And of course, you can also wear this cardigan open. I just like leaving a few done at the top and a few done at the bottom. So the next dress I picked up is this one right here. It is a scrunchy dress in like a beigey color. I loved the button details going all the way up. I thought it would look so cute with a good knee high boot um, or even a pair of sneakers. Abercrombie's dresses, like I said, are next level. And the scrunching detail is what really got me because scrunches on a dress, they will hide everything. Okay, so this is the dress. It is absolutely gorgeous, not to mention it is so comfortable. And I love the little like roughly details around here. Like I said, it hides anything. It scrunches in at the smallest part of your waist and then it goes to a really good length and it's a good thick material. You don't have to worry about it being see-through. I know they have it also in black. And then I threw it on with some knee-high boots. These are from Zara, pretty comfortable. And they fit my calves, which is actually surprising. I normally have a really hard time with that. This dress is so comfortable and so flattering. I think I might want to order it in the other colors they have. The next thing I picked up is this top right here. This one was on sale. It's in a beautiful burnt orange color. I thought with jeans it would be adorable even if you wore this under like the cream cardigan. I love the color of it and I also didn't have anything like that or in that color in my closet. The fit is a little bit weird when it's not tucked in but I still do love the color. I think with a cute like fluffy cardigan on top that would be really like the perfect fall outfit. And then I paired it with some um, camely burnt orange kind of boots. Another pair of wide leg pants, except these are in kind of like a windbreakery material. They're not in a sweatpants material, kind of like, I want to say like a K-way or like a true jogging pant. These I got again in a small short and I just pictured a cute all black outfit with a pair of dad sneakers. My favorite kind of outfit is like a very casual but still very cute outfit. Something where you're comfy but you still look very stylish. This is how I imagine myself showing up to my son's soccer game. I love this look. It's a lot of Nike. So I have this Nike turtleneck tank top type of thing. And then I threw on a Nike hat to match little matchy matchy situation and then these are the pants which are so comfortable they're even cuter because they have a little slit in the side i didn't put any shoes on yet because my nike shoes are in my car last time i mixed adidas and nike you guys came for me so i'm obviously not going to offend anyone today by doing that and if you're like tony but it is fall yes you are right i would wear a cropped puff jacket with this outfit. And lastly, this is not the most exciting thing, but I did pick up just like a little plain white tank top. Okay, so that's it for Abercrombie. Now let's move on to Princess Polly. Picked up a few things for fall. The first thing is this top which just says Sunday fun day. I just love the color brown. Again, Abercrombie and Princess Polly, I think are my two favorite places to shop for sweatshirts. They're just so thick and so comfortable. Brown color is what really got me. Okay, so this is a sweater. I just have it tucked into some black leather pants. I love the combination of black with brown. It looks casual, but still very cute, still comfortable. You guys know I'm very picky with my brown and this is the perfect brown. I will definitely be wearing this a ton all fall and winter long. I threw it on with a blazer. This one is from Princess Polly as well. One of my um, latest Princess Polly hauls and it looks really cute with a blazer too. I love mixing very casual outfits like sweaters and joggers and stuff with a blazer. And then I picked up two jackets. So I picked up this one right here, which is like a little cropped bomber. This is the Georgia cropped puffer. I got it in a small medium. I got it because sometimes with high-waisted pants or sweatpants, I do like a pretty cropped bomber just for a, like a sportier look. Okay, so this is it with the jacket. It is very oversized and puffy, but that's how I like my bomber jackets. It is so warm and comfortable. Then I also picked up a super, well not super, but an oversized leather jacket. I wanted to pick this one up because it was a very oversized, a little bit longer and I didn't have one this long and like this good quality in my collection. Okay, so here I have this Nike little tank top on with a pair of Abercrombie jeans. These are also 90s fit jeans. And then I just threw on the really oversized leather jacket, which I am obsessed with. It looks so good. It definitely gives a different vibe, but I love this so much more than a regular fitted leather jacket. I feel like if you even wore it over your shoulders, it would be cute. I'm definitely good for leather jackets now. 
good for all jackets now. I don't need any more. <laughs> And then lastly from Princess Polly, I picked up these shoes right here, which were a dupe for the Prada shoes that I saw on like Kourtney Kardashian and everyone was wearing. I was searching high and low for shoes like this and they were sold out everywhere and Princess Polly came through. They're actually very comfortable. And when I wore these, I'm not kidding, I think like six or seven people stopped me and asked me where I got them. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. Princess Polly has some of my favorite like chunky sneakers and shoes. They have a great selection. Hello, okay, so I'm editing this video. I don't know how I did it, but somehow I forgot to film an outro. I remember filming it. I guess I just forgot to press record. That was it for my Abercrombie haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything will be linked down below as per usual to Abercrombie and Princess Polly. Also, we just launched our new silk mask for the fall time, so check that out. Don't forget to subscribe before you go for new videos every single week. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys back here next time.